last episode of Art Star, the artists met with Lee Quinones and worked on a banner for the art parade. The cast also visited the studios of some of the most important and exciting contemporary artists in New York. We hope that these visits inspired them and motivated them as they get closer to the deadline for their art parade project. In a creative field, a little pressure is good. I think the artists are feeling some pressure now with the art parade coming in a few days. The first week of September is perhaps the busiest week in the art season. All the galleries have their openings. On Thursday, we have our gallery openings at Deitch Projects. 30 days of work in the studios culminates in the open studios on Friday and in the art parade on Saturday. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Annie. Hi. Hi. We're going to make something for the parade. Oh, good. Yeah. Let's try it. Take two. We're going to make something for the parade. Yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> we need to make something to carry all these weird balloons in. It could be something as simple as just like a, a, a cylinder, or it could be a giant fish. A it could be. And this is the magic ingredient. It's wax paper. Do, 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 do. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's my hair dryer uh, now. But it makes. So easy. Yeah, it's like. It's really great. It's like a big. Do, 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 we could carry it like sideways. So I guess the next step is we make. A big fish. A big fish. What we did today with Annie was what we should have done weeks ago. It was definitely a positive thing to have a clear focus that hey we are doing this parade, we are going to create some sort of balloon structure. Big fish, little pond or whatever, big fish, giant pond, big fish like there's nothing really here. <laughs> you know, it's just a big joke. Let's get that tail on and, the, and the bottom seam sealed and it's a thing. All right, so we can seal the whole piece? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I think because it's so close to showtime that the group is ready to band together. I think it was pretty obvious that I was kind of distracted the entire time just because I feel like there's so much that I need to get done individually. This is like Annie's idea. Fine. But so what? You know, it wasn't my idea to dress up like a stupid animal. Oh, that's collaboration. <laughs> I'm glad that everyone seems to have such a good time uh, making the joints and kind of seeing the magic of inflatables. I was definitely impressed. Even though it's a group of individual people who are very strong, they kind of want to be led a little bit. show and Deitch Projects with the Art Stars. It was kind of exciting to go with the camera crew to the opening. It was the first time that I felt like, ooh, I'm an art star. <laughs> the weekend of the art parade coincides with two gallery openings at Deitch Projects. In our larger space, there's a remarkable show by Jim Eiserman with thousands of plastic modules forming a remarkable undulating curve. It was really nice how it filled up the environment and how the whole space was transformed by it and how every angle that you were in there seemed to be moving. I touched it. I touched the art and I didn't get busted for it, but as our cameraman just found out, you're not allowed to go within like four feet of it, so no. Art is only for the wealthy and well, those with clean hands. It's great to see this very kind of rigid grid kind of blown out in this beautifully warped and manipulated way. The wave 
kind of installation piece I found out is $100,000, and it's only sold to one person. It's not going to be broken up. I thought that was a really interesting choice. Congratulations on your opening here, Doug. Thank you. Excellent. Could you tell us about your process of installing the work or your... Well, the piece was designed specifically for this space, so the dimensions and the proportions were designed to work here and to repeat. And here during the day is when the light changes. The triangle that's in shade actually reverses, and it feels like the walls, uh, or that the shapes are con Vex instead of concave. Oh, fantastic. So, I mean, this is actually the worst light to see it in. You should come back during the daylight. In our Grand Street space, we're presenting the American debut exhibition of Rakib Shaw. His work has been a sensation, and the exhibition is very eagerly awaited. Well, my name is Rakib Shaw, and what you're looking at is uh, a year and a half of work. Um, that's it basically. This is a continuation of the Garden of Earthly Delights, which uh, I started in 2004. This is sort of the last group of paintings that is coming out of that theme. Now, Jeffrey's a fantastic person, and what I really like is that he does uh, believe in the work first instead of just thinking about the money. When you're a painter, uh, you say what you have to say within the painting. And if you want to talk, then it's better to be uh, a, a poet or a writer. What do you want with a crazy one? This is pretty neat. What's coming out of his ass? What is that? Yes, yes. I'm gonna be cool. I was instantly just drawn to the glitter and the color, and it's like, oh. This is so beautiful with the animals and oh, it's gorgeous and it's not a giant. Like, it kind of ruined it for me. But then again, I could totally be, you know, I'm scarred from my, you know, the, the guy outside my window whacking it earlier this week. I really appreciated the, the decorative motifs that he used. The whole thing felt like one giant collage. I was really overwhelmed by it. The smaller space was very intricately done and I liked uh, the sense of touch. And the work. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of really intricate, beautiful work and you know you saw it from afar and it seemed like a really complex painting but when you got up close there were so many different textures. So uh, Deitz just kicked me out of uh, Rakib's show for having liquor um, which I think is kind of funny when you've got the walls covered in giant glittery f**ks. <laughs>